I got it, 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 I got it. Cowboy's like, half okay, time, 20 at least. It'd be better if it's cowboy. It'd be better if it's cowboy. Yeah, it'd be better, better if it's gold, but you know, you gotta take life as it goes along, you know? Come on, man. Oh, shit, oh, shit. I got it. I got it. Oh, shit. Sorry. You passed well, so hard. Yeah, yeah, chill, yeah, no, chill, chill. You definitely don't need this, man. You think you fucked up now? What's up? Look what they did to my ride. I'll do it or don't, but I got some place to be. Thank you for your kindness. Y'all got to pay something, anything. Be a principal here. If we have a dime, you'd have a dime. Look, 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 we're a little insufficient right now, okay? We're on our way to the metal man. We'll come back and pay for everything, I promise you. Hey, hey, after the jump man, we gotta move past Kmart. Definitely. How much days? 10,000 a set. Yeah, nigga show that on the ride, he ain't gonna sound on himself. Lock my ass up. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> so how you gonna play it? If they from the terrace, that's Avon. I know. And Avon, he coming home too. Well, if you inclined to work something out, that's one thing. If not, Avon can seriously handle up. I know. So if you want to hold on to what's yours, you best be ready. Marlo? You know I'm with Avon, right? String a bell? Can we talk? I need you to walk back up there and pack up your people. being a gentleman about it for the moment. I'm telling you I was there. White folks was on the stoop by 909 Club, and they pictured standing over his ass, pumping more holes in the boy than a motherfucking knee. Shit, I ain't lying. As soon as that motherfucking nine stopped talking, white folks look at me, they pack and say, bitch, it's the best you got. Man, I'm just saying. Boy got that much white blood, you got to be a punk. You want me, boss? Your number's way down, fruit. Way down. That's Barksdale's people. And they clipping the dope beans coming up Fremont. You know, when I ran a shop and my numbers dropped, I damn sure did something about it. Yeah, I hear that. I just want to move. Take the youngins with you. Give them a workout. All right. Major just wants to talk. That's all. Promise. We'll bring you right back. Ain't gonna happen. The fuck you say? The fuck you mean it ain't gonna happen? Let me tell you something, motherfucker. We got orders to bring your sorry ass down the way for a sit down with our boss. Now, we're prepared to take you with us right now. We can either do this the easy way. Brain dead fucks. Press, it's me. Think of that little situation here. Stay with me. 10 seconds. Major wants the dickhead. He gotta go. I think he gets a pass this time. You sure? I mean, you want? He goes. Another time, Hurt. We're on the Major's clock here. Forget the face, cocksucker. It's gonna be a tomorrow. You need me to call dispatch? 
No, that's okay. I'll tell you later. Say we get the troops, fuck these assholes up. KGA. Have Foxtrot meet me on 6, Adam. 2303 to Foxtrot. It's a black Mercedes pulling out the night. Copy that. We got the eyeball. What do we got? There's binoculars on the floor. Marlo making a move? Just watch. Forget everything the boy Bodie told you. Forget the beating. It ain't about that. You smart, man. I could see that. <laughs> I wanted you to choose somewhere safe for us to speak, but goddamn. Only bugs and this motherfucker gonna have legs. Nah, I appreciate smart. But you gotta know in this game, man, it ain't enough. You a student of history? You know this town had its share of smart players, man. Melvin, Little Will, Big Head Brother, Peanut, Warren. All real smart, man. Real smart. You know, as soon as their names rang out, bam, feds is on them. Know what I mean? Government ain't want you to be organized. Nah, they want you scrimping and scraping and killing each other on the corner on some bullshit. Know what I mean? That's why me and Prop Joe, we're getting ready to put this co-op together. Different crews, one package. Best dope, best coke. Share and share alike. Been hearing about that. You been hearing about that? Well, that's good. That's a start, right? You know that Mercedes you got riding out there, man? You got that titled in your aunt's name or some shit? Now, when they come get you, that straw purchase out there gonna come bite you in the ass, boy. That's what they do. They turn your money against you. Now you, I'm thinking with the corners that you got, you close to a mill, right? You doing all right? You doing all right? But I ain't got your name on the crib, right? Ain't got you a little spot for you to wash that dirty money? That's what I'm offering you, man. Come on, he's in there with you. I told you. Keep watching. Bunk put you up to this? Tell you what. How about a case of that PBR piss you drink against the touch of the Irish? But you went out the back and you're watching that house for nothing. Here comes your nothing. Whoa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I like my pissing bottles. Any way you like, darling. Chris, tell our people the two luck. I'm on it. How many y'all take? Two. You didn't get nearly a shot off. Speak to the quality of Barksdale people. He's gonna have to come back at you. You know it ain't gonna stop at this. I don't want it to stop. I'm gonna walk still weak today. And he ain't working with the ammunition I got. No doubt you carrying a full clip. But what you gonna do when you sitting at the head of the table? Once you there, you got to hold it down. Mm. Sound like one of them good problems. Yeah. Prison and graveyards. Full of boys who wore the crown. Point is, they wore it. It's my turn to wear it now. We're gonna do this, right, Chris? We're gonna do this, like yesterday, though. Uh. Water fresh. You keeping them cool. You got squeakers, nesting squabs. 
taking care of the youngins. I like seeing that. Yeah, Marlo. He's real loyal. Can't think about that now. Nice. It's good work. It's really good work. Police coming off them corners. I seen. I'm <laughs> keep my name off the package for a time. I'm gonna keep wholesaling. You know, step back a bit. Well, Mark still gonna think we weak. Not coming out the claim was ours. Police leave them corners, he's gonna be back out there. I know he will. Your turn, girl. It's about time. For real. <laughs> hey, how you can? Yeah, when you said you're leaving again. Tomorrow. Wanna get together tonight? Yeah, we can hook up tonight. How about coming up tonight? Eh, nah, not your crib. Where then? Go to a motel. You want me to meet you? Which one? I don't know which one. I'll tell you when I see you. I'd like to see you still. Right. You know Lake Trout? Where? Yeah, on Woodland. Outside the That one. Mm-hmm. I'll be there. What time do you want to meet? Like five. Five me five. I, I, I don't truck CP time. Five and change, I'm gone. I ain't gonna be late. All right, then. See you then. <laughs> what you think about that? I don't know. Might be walking into something a little later. So I'm gonna need for you to go up there and give me a read up front. Mm hmm? to him. I mean, if it wasn't y'all on it. You know, Yvonne's gonna put it on you. Right. Shit, let him take it on my jacket. Don't make me know, never mind. I'm thinking it might be what you call one of them good problems. <laughs> yeah. Cases of... Going nowhere. A leak car, a.k.a. Ooh. Herbert D. Rod... is Lex. Don Trail's cousin. He used to be with Kintel's people. He work at some corn over the hilltop now. He ain't more connected than that. And he coming in one of mine. Wouldn't about no business. Pussy, man. Your fruit was into something that Lex thought was his own. You say the word, we take off that whole motherfucking corner. Every last one of them bitches. What corner are we talking about again? Ragtag shit if I'm pacing. I mean, they get their shit from Joe, but they're mostly independent. They gone, Marlo. Just say so. That what you think? Just do more. And take the fucking corner, too. What I want was some off-brand hilltop corner. And why I need to be stacking bodies when they want no one trying to war with us? Just Lex. He did one of us, so he got the fall. That shit, son. I can't wait until school starts. You joking, right? Nah, seriously, son. Can't wait to see all the girls, you know, see what yours got fat over the summer, you know? Uh, guess who I saw last week? Who? Quanice Davis. Oh, shit. You mean cute ass Quanice? Uh huh? Mm, she fat? Got titties, too. Mm, I'm definitely tapping that pussy now. Y'all watch. I'm gonna be all up in Quanice this year, like this, banging that nigga. Just like you tried to do last year, right? Fuck you, nigga. I only halfway try. So, uh, Michael, who you getting with this year? Stinking ass up. What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Oh, Tina. Tina. Tina oh, Jenkins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't talk bad about Tina. Man. I'm not saying that bad. I'm saying she be sucking dudes' dicks in the boys' bathroom and shit. That's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate you, man. She suck dick even better than you do, man. Come, white. Oh. oh. Wow. 
Yo, Michael, son, if I ain't had his shit on, I'd have fucked you up. Word up. <laughs> Little niggas ain't up to no good, is you? Yo, what up, ma? Look here. First day of school coming up, right? Yeah, next week. So y'all need, like, school clothes and shit? Yeah. Yo, what's this for? What you want to hear me? For new clothes. Whatever else you need to get. Thanks, man. Damn, 200? Yo, thanks, ma. Oh, you need to thank my man Marlo. He ain't want to see you little motherfuckers going ragged on the first day. Hey, Marlo? Nah, man, no thanks. But you ain't got to do nothing for it. No, thank you, man. Hey, yo, Mr. Muck. I I'll take his if you don't want it. I mean, I'll hold his yo, for you. Yo, yo, don't press, man. Don't press. Yo, Jay, come on. What the fuck is wrong with you, boy? Too good for my money? Or is you such a bitch ass punk you worried about my money come from? Uh. <laughs> Ain't no thanks, shorty. We cool. Calling me. What I say though? You got the message, fool. Yo, monk, who that man? Yo, Andre. Old face Andre. Yeah, let me holler at that dude. Yo, check this out, man. Yo, this is how you do this right here, man. Yeah. Don't rush me on shit. I'll get at you when I match you. Remember who you talking to before you say another fucking word. Nigga need more maintenance than both my Nah, I pay for three pills. Look, blue shirt gets two. Nah, I get two. White shirt gets one. Cheap motherfucker. I get four. Look, blue shirt gets two, white one, no shirt one. Y'all can take what y'all paid for and walk away, or just walk away with nothing. Motherfucker refund. No, nigga, I paid for three. And you need to rethink what putting a hand on me is gonna get you. You could thank your friend here for snatching away y'all highs. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't rattle. Yo, you come up under my wing, youngin', you ain't gonna do nothing but rise, man. I don't even know why you thinking about quitting. Look, man, like I already told you, I'm all the way repaid. And tomorrow's school. Oh, man, what the fuck you wanna go to school for? What you wanna be? Astronaut? A dentist? A pay lawyer, nigga? Look, check it out. Why don't you just come down here after school? and just work these rush hours for me. How about that? You've been nipping at me all night, huh? Thing I got to figure is, is you ready to bite the whole ass? Ain't me with a mountain by my elbow. Oh, so you doing all right? You like the town car? Young as y'all into them Lexus, 
Hum fucking VSU fucking U-ray. <laughs> well, some shit, I don't know. See, but me, I like me a town car. Man, look quiet and correct in one of them. So I'll tell you what, you in this, you be sure to pick one up for yourself, son. Bye-bye. Showtime. Shit, nigga, turn. I ain't got clubs. One day soon, I'm walking out with a rose here. Well, you've been going to school up in this here room, son. I suspect you're gonna walk out here with Morgan fucking Freeman to drive it for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. I'm up the grocery on Monroe. I think I dream of coming to work up in this shit on a Sunday morning. Tell all my friends what a good job I got. I'm working to support a family, man. Pretend I ain't talking to you. Pretend like I ain't even on this earth. I know what you are. Now, I ain't stepping to, but I am a man. And you just clip that shit and act like you don't even know I'm there. I don't. I'm here. Look, I told you I wasn't stepping two. I ain't disrespecting you, son. You want it to be one way. What? You want it to be one way. Man, I don't you know want it what to you... be one Man, way. Stop! Stop saying that. But it's the other way. Scarred up faggot. Mm. Y'all need to hunt him down, cause there ain't no protection against that shit. <laughs> Can't plan against that nigga. It's like, like, you know what he's like. What he like? He like one of them terrorist motherfuckers. Just blowing up shit just too. Don't care who get hurt, what kind of sense it makes. You got a point. <laughs> and the government, right? They have one of them terrorist attacks. They cut Delta, whoever, some slack. The insurance companies, the banks, the whole NASDAQ and shit. Get some time to pay back what they owe, because the government know ain't nothing they could do. Hmm. Yeah, I know you see it. You see the big picture. Probably with niggas today, they always see the narrow view. That's nice. What? Oh, you like that? I had it for a long time now. It got some sentimental values. Just the thing. What's the real value? Huh? Real value. I ain't, I ain't much for sentiment. Oh, you know. It's been a while since I checked. I mean, the fluctuation in the global economy and all. I'll find out for you. You don't have to. I'll find out for you. Fingers swelled over the years. Need some help? Yeah, man. You need help? Nah, I got it, I got it. Maybe use some spit. I don't want the man spit. Nah, I got it now. Omar ain't no terrorist. You just another nigga with a gun. And you ain't no Delta Airlines, neither. You just a nigga got your shit took. So bring me what you owe and talk that global economy mess somewhere else. Feel me? Yeah.
I got another game. But you down already? Learning their ways requires some patience. Some money, too. How much you need this time out? A hundred and a half for the do. A hundred and a half? I'll take that chicken nose full one day soon. Take super stick, too. Take them all. Else, maybe I'll get bored. What? You want me to say you right? You right. Should have had protection at the car game. Done is done. Now we need to decide what we're gonna do about Omar. And make the price right. Somebody gonna get a whiff of that bushwhacker's ass. Now you take it from there. You think so? I ain't saying Omar can't be guy. Any nigga can be guy. But once we put word to ear, and he learned that we pressed it on his head, he's gonna be trying us like we trying him. <laughs> You saying I should let it slide? Nah. Nah, we get at him another way. Get at him with, without no bounties, no bullshit like that. I mean, Barksdale turned this town upside down hunting him. And all he ended up looking was weak. I ain't no Barksdale. I'm just saying, talk is cheap. You sit on it, you're gonna figure out a way to get that faggot. But till then, we don't say a mumbling word. Another thing. Slim Charles got out with me. Said the fat man want to sit down. No, I did that already. Well, Slim say the fat man knew the card game was going to get took. He did, did he? Set it up. Why you always be back here? Quiet, and I can see what comes. But you out in the weather and shit. Don't like to speak in no rooms. Yeah. Yo, you ain't staying long. So you know, almost got that for you. I just need a couple of days more. Oh, you can keep my money for now. But I got something needs doing. Anything, Marlo, your call. Omar gonna come in your store, stick it up, rob you. You gonna call the police, make a report. Feel me? Yeah, that'll work, but uh, you know when he get out, he's coming right at me. I ain't scared of nothing. I'm just saying, you know? He ain't gonna get out. Man, make bail on robbery. Making no bail. Oh, blood. Bump me off the nigga up the street. Motherfucker in the brewery? That'd be him. I'd be saying, no motherfucker gonna run off with my hair on. Oh, this is fucking great. Get somebody who reads lips. This motherfucker's history. Is this legal? I mean, in accepting what they're saying? Don't go Freeman on me. I gotta run. Hey, man, what about some fucking relief? I've been here all morning. See the fat man. How the other thing turn out? All good. Not a place you expect to find any gangsters. Police for that matter. Heard you knew something I did. Told you before. I'm making my business to keep an ear to the ground. I'm making my business to do business. You doing business or we just talking? If it's chalk, I'm gonna walk. I heard the people pulling security at the card game weren't too keen on their wages. Figured it was only a matter of time before they found a way to get their due compensation. And you didn't think to tell me? A man learns best when he get burnt. I know you ain't making this shit up. You don't. Things happen on the street. Proof is hard to come by. Go ahead. Open it. Off the street, there's all kind of proof. They plan on executing those Friday. Time it with the election, I guess. Show they doing their job, cleaning up the city, taking down the kingpin. How did you come by this? Told you before, I keep my ear to the ground. What are you going to do with it? 
Maybe nothing. Charlie's not part of the co-op. Or maybe I tip him for a fee. What do you think a man with a whole lot of money would pay for his freedom? You know, lately, I come to find out someone trying to take pictures on me. Pictures? Yeah. Video. You heard anything about me through your travels? Had no incentive to listen. You do now. What time you got? F three. Motherfucker, late. Yo. For you, Marlo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speak. You want it? The longer she had her mark, we straight. What time I gotta pick up that skinny girl? All right. So what time they say? It's tomorrow night. She be on the 8:45 from New York. Yeah. We can take care of that. No, I'll do it. Don't want nothing to go wrong. Sure about that? Side. Right. Gang back on this. Yeah, I think I got this one too. Marlo Stanfield. He ain't so much. Using cell phones and shit. What's he saying now? What time I gotta pick up the skinny girl? I do it. Don't want nothing to go wrong. Maybe he's picking up a girlfriend? Skinny girl from New York? It's cold. Cocaine. Damn, man. For Marlo himself to get near a package. She's a mope! I told you. right there. Stand by. You don't want to be in on the collar? No. If you take it, he'll think it's a straight interdiction, and I get to surprise him at the bail review. Sister, hope you would get back. No, thank you. Don't be afraid. Why should I be afraid? Who are you? Just walk through the door. My husband is waiting outside. I'd like to meet him. I'll wait with you to make sure you're safe. That really won't be necessary. That's actually, sir. Yeah, sir. Excuse me. Could you step over here, please? What is this? Give me the bag. What is going on? Sergeant. Clean. Both of them. Say what? Nothing in that bag but ladies' clothes. Nothing dirty on either one of them. Unless you got another idea, we gotta cut them loose. Tried to bring out who was on me. Led him to the train station. How they work? Had the railroad police on me. Couldn't smoke out who was pulling the strings. You need a name. You get that. Yeah. I can run it down for y'all. I'll get a name. Camera still there? Steal that motherfucker. If no one speaks to it, then it's the Fed sniffing you out. It's only Federals be rich enough to lose a camera and not go to crime about it. Mm. 
You steal that bitch and someone comes knocking, it's local. Steal that bitch. See what comes. Believe you got my camera? Oh what? License registration. You do me one, I'll do you. You got a card or something? City, huh? Video camera gotta come back. Yeah, well, I'll see what I can find out about it. But you know cameras. Kinda like pigeons in a stall. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they come back, sometimes. But I keep an air out on it. Pigeons? You just say pigeons. He's fucking with you. Look, you just gotta tell Mary Mo that you used the camera for the PC at the train station. And then just admit the camera got took. I already put it down to the CI. I told Dickhead the truth. He takes my stripes on it. Oh, Sergeant Thomas Hawk. Baltimore City Police. Didn't I say city would come running? You did. I checked this joke out for you. See what's what. One other thing. You doing okay running them New York niggas off the east side. I know that. But this thing you got with disappearing the bodies. My man's saying if you just vanish in the bodies like that, it do kind of defeats his own purpose. The niggas don't know if they went back to the Bronx or whatever. You feel me? Of course. I tell my people. Ain't no disrespect to your professionalism or nothing. We all impress us how you lose motherfuckers like that. We just trying to send a message to these New York people. They're full of fat. You know what I'm saying? I'll get back to you on this. To me. It's nothing here, man. Oops, my bad. You wanna play games with me? I'm gonna be in your people shit like this every day until my camera comes home. You hear me? Every day. You and yours. Let's go. Ah, that felt good. The old Western DEU rise again. Might could be a problem. How so? Your boy been assigned to what they call the major crimes unit. You know what? They the motherfuckers that did the last three city wiretaps. One where they bugged Boxdale's office, another where they hit Kintel up in Park Heights, and the last one? Shit, they was all up on Stringer Bell cell phones. You ain't still using burners, is you? Uh, dumping them every two weeks. Not good enough. You read that. You see, the stringer was changing his number every damn day, and they still pulled the motherfucker's voice off a goddamn cell phone tower. City police did that? Where'd you get this? Courthouse, clerk's office. Hey, the shit's open to the public after they finish prosecuting your ass. <laughs> you need to lose them cell phones, son. Me? I ain't so much as touched the burner in a year. What's 
sign of the motherfucker, Andre. Still been padlock a week. He ain't even calling for his re-up. Check the man at the jail. Yeah, people say Omar ain't even been on the tier for two weeks. So he in seg someplace, but they got him in county lockup. But well, the charge has been dropped. This cocksucker sprung. My man is backing up on his story. Man, he could back up on y'all. I'm on it. How about the New York boys? We dropped five of them. West went to ground. Drive through East Baltimore, you don't even see a Baltimore nigga with a Yankee cap. Want us to stay on that too? I talked to the fat man, but I think we're done there. This shit with Andre, job one. We want four to raw. 275 large right there. For four, it should be three. I'm charging five ahead on them New York boys. At about to go on rate. Still want us on that? Nah. Seems like they got the message and went the fuck on. True that. Delroy has all of the Monument Street corners back. All right, then. I'll add us for the next package, then. Uh, you remember when I told you about the co-op meant we all stand together, doing for each other when we can? You remember that? Well, the price of four raw is 300 your work on them New York boys already been factored into the price, you see? On the other hand, we got something that you want and it's coming back to you. Free of charge. Someone you looking for. Co-op mean what it sound like, duh. You happy to do for me, I'm happy to do for you. I thought maybe I could catch up with Chris. I, I got a problem I can't bring to no one else. Who the fuck is Randy? Just a little hopper from around the way. Man, he ain't in the game, but he be with Michael and them. And he talking to police. I know it. I know he did. Cause he was the one I told go tell Lex, go up to the alley. Patrice is waiting. You were supposed to do that. Yeah, I know, but this way, try to keep some distance between me and Lex, right? You tell us Randy what happened to Lex? No, I swear. Go, motherfucker. Fuck you still waiting for? The fuck y'all following me for? Easy, son. No, ain't nobody walking with me nowhere. Randy. You can't hurt us. It's yeah, snitch, though. Yeah, put that around there. Slim. Marlo. How you feeling? Can't complain, yo. Getting to be that time, though. Joe wanted me to check in, you know? Hey, yeah, pull up a chair to shop it up. Yeah, that's my point right there. So you all got your work up to date, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you took care of your puppy's problems. Oh, he most definitely made that go away. You have it. It's all good. You know, some of the youngins been saying your pup's the tall with a snitching boy. Michael. Yeah, that's what they saying. Huh. Yeah.
Nice hookup. Private. Damn, y'all some simplified motherfuckers, ain't you? Where cheese go to enlist? <laughs> That's 25 back to Joe from what we were short before, and another 150 to upper order to six. Well, we had you down for four. I don't know if we got extras coming off the boat. Show us someone else then. I'll see what Joe said. <laughs> yeah. When we set with the re up, we'll hit you on that. Should it be where you told us half hour later? No, we ain't using these no more. Let's need them. All we do is ring you from a 958 exchange, east side. Don't need to answer. Just toss it, go to the meet. See you when I see you. Is you out of your mind, nigga? You think I'm paid twice for the same motherfucking package? Hey, I'm in the same box here. Faggot took my shit same as he took y'all. Man, but that's on your own people. Your guys was the ones doing security on this shit. Hey, they worked it the same as we did the last dozen shipments. Y'all was fine with it up until this, right? Ain't no one have a problem with it till the motherfucker gave us one. Thing is, Joe, we called a quorum on this. Took a vote that says it's your people need to make this right. Nah, nah, co-op means share and share alike. You share the good and you share the bad. All right. I dig deep and do the full shipment if that's what y'all need. But don't even think about coming back to me for a re-up after this. Because when that good, raw shit comes straight off the boat, it's going to be mine only. Seeing as how y'all can't find a heart to stand with me now. You want to quarm up again? Think it over a little? Yeah, I thought you might. I'll get word back that we need a fresh shipment and right quick. And you can think about what we need to do to improve security. Make sure it only happens the once. What's up, young? Which one of your people was in charge of the stash? I, mean, I want to talk to him. My nephew. My sister's boy. I can't get him up like that. I can't do it. My connect had people there when the shit went down. If that's what you need to make you believe, you can hear it straight from him. But I need to hear it from you. Me? This is not my affair. This is what Joe says. I'm only here right now for Joe. Who I trust, who I respect, who I worked with for many years. You, I do not know. And I don't need to know. But because this thing goes wrong for Joe, then... Well, how am I supposed to know this ain't no setup? How am I supposed to know your people ain't in on it, too? You know because Joe says. And because I say. And you trust your people like that? I talk to my driver. I look into his soul. found in the truck. Yeah, call the bonds, man. First, put a follow on him right there. Who, why do with Adam? Mm -hmm. What are your problem? Nah. I just need to know more. Alright. Satisfied? 
90,000 to you in the morning, and we put a hunter on more later. After the heat on them empty houses give way. You sure it was the boy Bodie? Man, I seen him come from out the central bookings over on Eager Street side. Then he got in some car with some white dude. Police? What kind of car? Caprice? Man, whoopty, I think. Damn, you like a motherfucker. And jacking you up, pulling all your work out of them houses, right? Man, we can't have nobody snitching on us now. We ain't sure it's that. But you want to let it go? Risk it. Uh, send a message. And uh, maybe give it to your pup, get him started. And you and Snoop, y'all lay low till the shit head blow down. Boy worked for Bodie. First time must be someone he ain't know. <laughs> you hear what Joe said? Joe saying this cocksucker who stole ass shit wanna sell it back to us for 30 on the dollar. <laughs> Joe saying it's another 90 to buy back our share. Mm. <laughs> what up? What up? Still asleep? How you liking the crib? Fine, thanks. It's so good to be on your own. Yo, where you get that ring from? Took it from a nigga. Why, you want it? Nah, nah, you keep it, shorty. I'll go get Bug ready for school. You ready to put in work? Two things then. First, we're gonna give you the corner up on pacing. Used to be Bodie's old corner, now it's yours. Crew that up, run that shit. And you get the points on that shop. Then we got this other thing. Yo, if I ain't stepping on nothing, who was that we dropped for you, yo? Bugs Daddy. What? Look, man. All I'm saying, if I'm gonna take your package, split need be fair. I mean, I gotta pay all my people the same, and here you up in the price on them. Pay your people less. They my people, though. You shut yourself. Split it 60 40. You want better? You need to tool up. I'm wait for Chris, Snoop, and the rest of my people to compare a call on your people. So we gonna be brief with all you motherfuckers. I think you know. Fold it up. We're taking our shit 60 40. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nigga show no heart at all. Smart people can stand down there, right? Definitely, definitely. All right. Won't be needing no drama behind this nonsense. And Popo still up on you, huh? You're all hot all the time, man. Yeah, today they got the white boy with the black hair up on the roof in Booker T. Washington. Watching with his spyglass. <laughs> yeah. The youngest song climbing up. Yeah. So we'll do like this then. Mm. Take up to a room. You know, better hit the mini bar, watch TV. When she settled, go take care of the other thing. I just walk for my ride. All right, then moving on to new business. With John Hopkins buying up everything north of Monument Street and tearing the shit down, I think we all see the writing on the wall in East Baltimore. Yeah, they moving the hood out. Yo, niggas is going across the line to Baltimore County.
pretty soon East Baltimore gonna be in Essex. Hey, there's a market already along Route 40 and down at Tennis Station. And new territory go to who claim it? No, ordinarily so, but here we got some of our East Side people being displaced, right? Sure. I think we need to take care of those most affected. Meaning you. <laughs> well, I am East Side <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> But I'm talking about Hungry Man and Parker and Ghost. You know, others beside myself. Hopkins ain't gonna affect your market share, Marlo. So for those of us who suffer... All right, I see that. Why don't you let one of your juniors get a shot to open the county up? Let a fresh face get a shot at it. I know disrespect, son, but how I delegate to my lieutenants is not a co-op concern. <laughs> yeah, but how Slim feel about that, though? How you feel, tall man? Really pioneer out there for us? No, nah, I'm good where I am. Marlo, man. You're a little out of order here. Yeah, well, it's just a thought. Well, look, man, what's the percentage breakdown Don't of the new on Marlo. Anyway? I mean, that's the first thing yeah, we need to figure out. Yeah, but some shit here. That puts me out eight corners at least. Hungry man, I'm using prime real estate. It took me six years. No, I ain't feel nothing in a while. Yeah, that thing over the east side. They ain't on Snoop, she be rolling around all week. Nothing. No cars, no vans, no helicopters. Monkey he checked after the re-up, no problem. Wall down. But what about cameras? Nothing since the camera we took out the wall back at the place. My overnight man, he been watching, he ain't seen nothing either. Besides, I think we good as long as we move it around like this. Back to business, I see. <laughs> she ain't had no work in a few months. She's somewhat eager. God damn, right? Too much fucking talking around here lately, man. Niggas need to shut the fuck up, for real. All right, first thing, we go hard at Webster Franklin's crew. Gave him a chance to get on a tit, he passed. Then we bang on his corners a couple of times till he fold. Now he talking. Yeah, next, we step the June bug for talking that shit. He was a dead man when he opened his mouth. He just walking around not knowing it. Mm. You know, and I want that dick sucker. He took my money in the whole world, no. He got the fall. Omar rolled out in retirement and shit. I'm here somewhere south. Don't bring his ass back out of retirement. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. We can set that shit up. But he's gonna be coming at us like we're coming at him. I mean, Joe and them, they still let that be. You know, the crown ain't worth much if the nigga wearing it or is getting his shit took. And Joe would know that. Yeah, let him come. Yeah. What up with that thing down at Jesse? Yeah, yeah, you on the list. Go on down there anytime you want. No problem. That's the dude right there. Right. Yeah, Harold. Time for y'all to earn your pay. Number two. Sergey thought we should talk first. Talk about what? That's on you, young. Whatever business you're trying to do through the Russian, you gotta go through me first. Yeah? Yeah. Cause up in this bitch here, I'm 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 what you might consider an authority figure. You know, everybody gotta get my help or ask my advice, like on all kinds of shit. Sergey stepped to me the other day saying this nigga Marlo, who you don't even know. Just be sending him cash money to get on his visiting list. So then he asked me if I knew Marlo. I tell him, hell yeah, I know Marlo real well. You know? Over West Side, everybody know everybody, right? <laughs> Let me help you find your tongue. You trying to get to the Russian so you can get a line to his people. You trying to get to the Greek motherfuckers because if you can, you want to cut Proposition Joe and all them other East Side bitches 
out to connect. I mean, you a natural businessman, right? <laughs> but this is the thing, though, and I mean, you know, I'm with you on all that as far as it goes, you know. West Side definitely need to stick together, you know what I mean? And all the fuss about you coming at me. I say let bygones be bygones, but fuck all them East Side bitches. That's just the way I feel about it. I got nothing but love in my heart for West Side niggas. Nothing but love, of course. I mean, you know, I got to have my taste too. Figured that. So send my sister a hundred large. And the next time you come to Jessup, it won't be my girl talking at you. My word on that. A hundred large, huh? So what's up, man? What's up with you otherwise, you know? Ah, uh, the game's a game. Always. What's up, Boris? You know who I am. I'm that rich uncle been putting all that money in your canteen account. Hmm. In my country, I was in jail four years. Hmm. In my country, this is not prison. This is nothing. I don't need money. I don't need fucking canteen. I don't need you. Hmm. Weeping in my answer, gang banger. Alright, I feel that. I feel that, but Avon over there, he thinks you might be able to help get a message to the Greeks. To Vandas. I mean, seeing as you don't need my money. Vandas might be happy to have it. If you don't want to see me, he won't. But if you do, it's you that made it happen. Andreas, right? Russian sent me. Need you to get a word to Vondas. You got a new friend. Never hear the name. Just let him know Marlo came past with a gift. Be at your same time tomorrow. got a problem, then I got a problem. That's how the co-op work. What's the problem? I got too much money. Son, believe me, you ain't alone. <laughs> what to do with the shit we sell ain't no thing. In Baltimore, dope and coke sell themselves. But the money that come back, ain't enough mattresses, is it now? <laughs> you got any ideas? I fear you, if you ask him. This shit's taking forever. Complicated stuff, I suppose. It's more like Joe make it complicated. That, that nigga got a thing for conversation. <laughs> not like Marlo. Definitely not. Now see, Pastor here, he one of about three I like to get money to. Help with his good works and all that. Good works. Oh, he down with all kind of missionary work going on down in the islands. You know, building a church for some folk, a schoolhouse for some other folks, all kind of good shit like that. Hmm. And what else y'all building? A hospital. Hospital, yeah. 
Except they've been building that mess for about 10 years now and nothing ever actually get finished. How you gonna clean my money? We got accounts with some of the banks down there. Donations come in as cash. Cashier's checks come out. Tiny ass Caribbean island. Don't truck with no subpoenas, no court orders, none of that. You pay 10 on a dollar. Anything beyond that depends on your generosity to save those who want to be saved. It's a generous gift. But your money, the money you bring me, I don't need. Money is money. What's the difference who bring it to you? It's dirty money. It stinks. We ain't in the same business. The bills are from the street. They're dirty. You understand? Everything runs through Joe. Everything is clean with Joe. Ain't a problem. Good. Goodbye. You mean London, right? I just showed you how. Nah, nah. He mean clean, like the money straight out the bank and shit. All looking nice. See, people ain't right. Here you are trying to pay a motherfucker, and all he worried about is what the money look like. Normally, my fee for this would be twenty on a dollar. Forty thousand to make it look nice. You need this back today too. Might ordinarily charge more, but seeing as how we co-op, no charge. Well, speaking of co-op, tell them niggas that got burnt, and giving away fifty for a line of Omar's people. His sister, his me ma, some fag he be with, all that shit count. You hear me? I'd let sleeping dogs lie, son. Uh, I know you would, Joe. I mean, you smart like that. Me? Anyway, pass that off on. Come back for this here in an hour. That boy want Omar back. Man, I ain't giving him a thing on Omar. Omar been gone. Took a lot of bad history with him, too. Why in the hell would I want that motherfucker back? Levon is knowing me no misunderstanding earlier. There's 400 in your own account down in the islands. Now, no hurricane, Department of Justice, or old nigga with a gun can tap that. I even know it's there. So you check it online anytime you like. On a computer? If I can't hold it in my hand. All right. You got any prior convictions? No, yeah, nothing that rate. We get you a passport then. Take a trip. Ain't easy civilizing this motherfucker. Bonjour. Can't you see my account? Uh, parlez pas français. I got my money in here. Je ne parle pas anglais. It's mine. I got my money. Oui, monsieur. J'ai juste besoin de ça. S'il vous plaît, est-ce que je pourrais avoir le... ça? Merci. Identification, s'il vous plaît. What? Euh... Ça? Oui. Merci. Okay, 
monsieur Marlowe. Very clean, very nice. But this is unnecessary. It was not our intent to mislead. When I spoke before about the condition of your money, I was talking in symbols. The money it came from the street, and so I thought you came from the street. I did. I do. It was not the money that concerned me. You have been more than generous, and this is a gift of an honorable man, clearly. But in accepting such a gift, we will give you the wrong impression. You come from the street. Hmm? But the street doesn't concern us. We know a man here, and we trust him. But to know more people, to learn more names, to have them learn our names. And I hit a bad mouth prop, Joe. Well, people depend on me. And last year, it was a robbery. I'm saying, uh, what? What if this happens again? Where they put more people? Well, that's for you to discuss with Joe. All I'm asking for is an insurance policy. You know, something covers me, hmm? covers you. And covers Joe. Hmm? See, you, Ray. The young man makes a point. You're right. These are volatile times. It is not unreasonable to carry insurance. Who can say what tomorrow will show us? You go. Be safe. Your case. Oh, y'all came a ways. Put it to expenses. If we were to tell him no, he will still come back. This he shows us. But he is not Joe. He is not Joe. As soon as this newspaper stick get off my ass, I'm gonna unload my club and clear milk. Now, I'm gonna snatch up every bacon I can get my fat ass fingers on. There you go, like a real player. It's a whole new world out there, man. Buy you some property, hold on to it till the white people show up, you make a killing. Milton's into that, except he got some kind of deal with that bullshit prisoner entry program. Got convicts fixing up his house. Motherfuckers. Shut the fuck up. I'm sick of listening to your shit. If we got business, if we ain't gonna bounce. Marlo here seems pressed for time, so y'all can pick back up on this after the meet. Last up, we got hungry, man. Junior here took it upon himself to make unlawful incursions into county territory that was marked for my people. Incursions? Ain't you the articulate motherfucker? Keep on talking, boy, you gonna get spanked. Like you got the heart. Motherfucker pissed like a bitch. All right, shut it down. Last I looked, you wasn't no charter member. I apologize. My nephew gonna heed the boundaries, I assure you. All right, meeting's adjourned. Like I told you, right? Yeah. I pulled some of it out, brought it back home. I was, um, I was thinking. What next with this? You clear some time tomorrow, I'll open the door for you. That work? Son, uh, you need to focus a bit more on what can be gained by working with people. <laughs> That's just a thought now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I know him. Avon's lawyer. Yeah, mine too. Rick uses him. So does Phil Boy for most of his stuff, not just the criminal side. Yeah, Levy excels in putting our limp dick money to work. You want to know what to do with them bank checks? Mm -hmm. This way you need to be. Joseph, you're looking prosperous. I get by. <laughs> Sky Phil? 
Just it tells me good things about you. Hey, you ever find that camera? Cost me the job. <laughs> so let's uh, go into the conference room where we can spread out. This between you and your attorney. Caddy finally dumps Burrell. Irvin was a year before me at Dunbar. Oh, shit. He was in the glee club. You're killing me. I gotta ask. Stone stupid. Take that. No, I got it. What you see in this old man? All the money you got? Your great grandfather. First colored man to own his own house in Johnson Square. That means something. Something you youngins lost. Yeah, well, we outside when you're ready. Hey, keep shop while I'm gone, boy. Charles say Omar back. And while he left Charles standing, a man might feel less inclined if he get the drop on you or yours. You got fret none about Omar. No need for that. Come to see me off. My nephew. Boy, was always a disappointment. But I treated you like a son. I wasn't made to play the son. But my supply, the good dope. The Greeks, they cool with it. Proposition, then. I just step out the way. You never hear from me again. I just disappear. Joe, you'll be up in a mischief in no time. Truth is, you won't be able to change up any more than me. Close your eyes. It won't hurt none. There, there now. Joe, relax. Breathe easy. Don't seem possible. Don't. Some Spider-Man shit there. We missed our shot. That ain't gonna be at us. Tell you one thing. What's that? Motherfucker who's got the connect. He the one that did jump. Oh, no doubt. Y'all know the co-op took some hits. Joe, hungry man, good people, especially Joe. The passing was for real cold-blooded. I know what you're thinking, so I'm gonna put it out there. I'm responsible. Yeah. A week or so back, made a move on Omar with Joe's approval. Faggot ain't have hard enough to come at me, so he come at those close to me. Now, I'm doubling the bounty. 
100 large for a whiff of that dick suck. 250 for his head. What about the connect? I got that covered. And in light of that fact, I'm gonna take it upon myself to conduct this meet. Slim, I want you to take over Hungry Man's slice of the cake. Meaning no disrespect, but I ain't cut out to be no CEO. <laughs> Cheese, then. No problem, man. Got you covered. Until we settle up with Omar, I think it's best we suspend these meats. In fact, I ain't really one for meats, no how. Anybody got a problem from here on out? Bring it to me or sit on that shit. Those of you on the west side who need to re up, holler at my man Monk. He gonna handle supply over there. On the east side, cheese. One more thing. Price of the brick going up. 30 more. All right, enough of this shit. Source of information identified the transmission of photographs via cell phone. Fuck do that mean? Source of information. They saying somebody talking? Who the fuck even know? I wanna talk to the lawyer. And you caught a murder too? Say the same shit on yours, huh? From information received, investigation led to DNA analysis of the victim. You got your own DNA? Oh, here I expect. The information we see. More of that snitching shit. I'm saying, where that information come from? The only these people know about the deed is us right here. Snoop no shit. What about your young and Michael? Maybe it was him ran his mouth. Yeah. You got picked up, right? Uh, I did that thing for him. Why were you talking about putting stuff in? You been tested on the streets? Maybe you act different in them rooms downtown? Boy, you been throwing up all kind of back talk about shit. Buck wild about this and that. Like what? Crying about how June Bug and his people got lit up. Crying about how Omar on the street running his mouth, calling for you to step too. Omar say what? Nothing. Omar tried calling you out by name, but shit, it wasn't nothing. What do you say about me? Nothing, man. Just talking shit. Use my name. In the street? Talk, motherfucker. He just, you know, say that you need to step two in that. I don't know. He just running his mouth, son. You call me a punk? It was bullshit, man. You ain't need that on your mind. What the fuck you know about what I need on my mind, motherfucker? My name was on the street? And we bounce from this shit here, I'm gonna go down on them corners, let them people know. Word did not get back to me. Let them know Marlo stepped to any motherfucker, Omar, Barksdale, whoever. My name is my name. I don't see the boy snitching. Neither do I. But you ready to bet your future on that? When do we balance? I'm working on bail reviews. Cheese, maybe. On the high surety bond if he wants to put up his mama's house, monk the same. But with the murder warrant, there is no bail for Chris. And most likely there's no bail for you, as the charging papers portray you at the top of the conspiracy. How can they say that when I ain't going near no drugs at all? The full affidavit says they develop a source of information. Oh, shit. A source of information who told them that you communicated with each other using photographic transmissions on cell phones. Coded transmission. Ain't nobody know about the code except me, Chris, Monk, and Cheese. 
And we all locked up behind this. No one else even have a phone. Not even Snoop. No one set the supply. You trust the supplier? Well, someone knew and someone told. And now they've got your cell phones and they're going for a Title III. So he was on a cell phone then? No, the affidavit says the source told them the date of your resupply. That they followed Monk and others to the warehouse, followed him out and found the drugs. They're gonna get their Title III. And they're saying that by examining Monk's phone, your phone and the others, they're gonna prove the conspiracy. You see, they weren't on a wiretap, but now they're using the phones and photographs to link you all together. So, who knew that there was a resupply? Who knew what you all were up to yesterday? Snoop. And you trust her? Who else? They're claiming a propensity for violence and witness intimidation at the bail review, trying to have you held as the kingpin. They can do that? They can try. Depends on which judge they draw. So I don't got no bail for Chris, right? I mean, he got the murder warrant. Monk, neither. Too much weight in his car, and he's on parole from the 04 charge. The best I could do was spring Mr. Wagstaff on 300000 You sure that kind of money? Put up his uncle's house on surety bond for a third of it. Bondsman is fronting the rest on a fake lien. Right now, the important thing is not bail, though. The important thing is this. I need you to tell me who else knew your clock code. Told you. Me, Cheese, Monk, Chris, and the supply. That's it. No one else. No one else even had my cell number, except you. What? There's a lie in here somewhere. I ain't lying. I don't mean you. Look, the police say a source told them that you were re-upping on the day. That word of that might have slipped out, if that's possible. I mean, if you were wholesaling all over town. But they only grab your cells when they arrest you. And then, they have to go get warrants before they can look at the photos on the phones. Mm -hmm. It's only when they get to the photos and break the code mm -hmm. that they have enough to type a charging document for you or Chris, right? I mean, you aren't caught with drugs. Mm -hmm. But they had arrest warrants on both of you within a couple hours, which means that they broke the code almost instantly, in no time at all. Mm -hmm. Why did that My investigator thinks so. Mm -hmm. But he says he doesn't know for sure which unit ran the tap or who manned it. It doesn't add up. You get it now. You ain't. <laughs> you hit the streets. You round up as much muscle as possible and get that boy. He did snoop because he knew we was on him. He knew we was on him because he didn't want to talk about the damn Rio. Get your shit together, man. Barnes we came in with Levy. All right, come on. You walk. <laughs> Chris eats the murders. Every last one takes life with no parole. No parole? No shot, but they've got him called on the one with the DNA. Can you sell that? Is Chris loyal? Yeah. As long as I take care of his people. Cheese and Monk are looking at up to 20 for the drugs. But there's going to be no assets investigation, and you come home with all your money. And why they let me walk? <laughs> they don't want to. But there's some shit in their case, and they'd rather not show it in court. Mm. And here's the rub. If you stay in the game, they will. They definitely will. Right now, with an election going on, they're willing to give you a buy. But after November, if they even think you're still a player, mm -hmm. they could take this case down off the shelf, and the shit in the case might not be enough to keep you free. You understand? Give up the crown. Well, that's the deal, kiddo. There's not a lawyer who could get better for you. You've taken this law firm to a whole new level. Me? Don't tip me to that bad wiretap. I got all kinds of trouble. But now, if Marlo takes the deal, he's going to get a walk after being charged in a multi-million dollar drug seizure. That doesn't happen very often. And when it does happen, 
The name and number of the defense attorney goes in the front pocket of every respectable drug trafficker. You're a genius for what you brought me on this. Just doing what I do, right? You need to know something. All you got to do is ask. It's what a detective is, right? Here. You should come over for dinner tonight. Your vet's making brisket. Your house? You're mishpoka now. Say so. Fuck you mean you so? I'm starting to connect. How much, yo? Ten million. God damn. Well, I bet if I had ten for more than one of y'all. If y'all think it ain't worth that, I stick that shit back in my pocket, y'all can go back <laughs> to running that step down New York shit. <laughs> you don't mind me asking. Mm -hmm. Why you selling? Mm -hmm. I mean, even from inside of here, you could take a slice with this land in the cut, nigga. Ain't gonna be in here long. Case they got against me already falling apart. <laughs> but the truth is, I'm done with this gangster shit. I've been there, done that. You're something else other than a gangster? <laughs> Businessman. <laughs> yeah, it's old man, I can't get that shit wrapped around my head neither. Anyway, y'all can't get my price up. Maybe y'all pull y'all money. But supply only gonna deal with y'all after I make the intro. Then, I'm out. New Westport is like Howard Street 10 years ago. Except the land's cheaper. And there's more potential for mixed use because of the waterfront location. There you are. You can't put a price on a water view. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> you definitely can. <laughs> Andy, he's, he's got to meet Tommy, and they're leaving early, so let me borrow him for a moment. Sure, no problem. I'll, uh... Nice to meet you, Mr. Stanfield. You know who you were talking to? Andy Krawcheck. Very connected, very good with development around the harbor. He's someone you're going to want to know well. But, kid, do not... Work. Do not get in a room with him alone. You want me in there with you, believe me. Otherwise, guys like that will bleed you. No, I want you to meet Tommy Flanagan before he leaves. Yeah. Give me a minute. I need to, um... Bathroom? Yeah. Down the hall to the right. Hey, watch that stuff. Put on weights. Nine motherfuckers up there, and they all got nines. But he like, you all think Fuck you can you looking at? You, nigga. Do you know who I am? Nigga, you know who I am? 